All right, so we're gonna show you how to make this bucket thresher. And there's lots of different ways that you can do this, but this is the simplest one I've come up with. Um, so the pieces you'll need are a piece of 3 8 inch threaded rod. Um, and I'm gonna cut this down to about two feet long uh, using my handy dandy bolt cutters. Um, if you don't have bolt cutters, you might want to get some because they're great for lots of things. Uh, or if, uh, if that's not a tool you need, definitely make the cut to the threaded rod in the store, maybe using their bolt cutters, um, just because threaded rod usually comes in like three or four foot chunks or longer and it would be unwieldy at that length. Uh, then you also need a regular 3 8 nut, a 3 8 acorn or nylon lock nut, um, two large 3 8 washers. Uh, these ones are two inch washers. And then a two inch or larger washer this one's two and a quarter that's like really really heavy and if you can find one of these in three eighths that's great um but you probably won't so this one is like probably a half inch washer and that's why it's so heavy but you do want at least one real heavy one um i don't know if you can see on there there's some markings those are the holes that need to get drilled in it um, and the hole should be um, the same size as whatever weed whacker string you're going to use. So you can see that this is like just slightly larger than the weed whacker string. And that's what you'll need. And the next step is to drill these holes out. If you have access to a drill press, it makes drilling the holes in the washer much easier. Um, but you can definitely do it with any electric drill. Um, just remember to go slow and um, keep good pressure on the drill bit um, without pushing so hard that it breaks. Uh, so I'll go ahead and drill these out with the drill press. So once you've drilled out your heavy washer, it should look like this. Um, if you've got some burrs on the back side like this, you can take them off just with a file. Your next step is to take four 18 inch pieces of weed whacker string and thread them through the holes um, that you drilled in the heavy washer. And if you get the, the ends lined up so that they go through the hole at roughly the same time, then when you pull them through, they should be pretty even. Doesn't really matter um, if they're a little bit off, but if they're mostly even, that's good. So the next step is take your threaded rod and your regular 3 8 nut and put it on, I would say about two inches. Then you take one of your 3 8 um, two inch washers, put it on there. And then your heavy washer with all the strings threaded through, 
goes on like this. All right, this is the only part that's at all tricky, is you need to get your next washer on there so that it's pushing all those strings out to the side. And then you're gonna put your uh, lock nut on the end. And you wanna thread that on there so that the end of the rod is flush with the, uh, the outside of the nut, which will probably require a wrench and some vice grips. So you're gonna use the vice grips to hold the threaded rod. And then you can use whatever wrench is handy to just tighten that down a little bit. And once the end of that rod is nice and flush with the end, just like that, that's perfect. Uh, now all you need to do is tighten up the regular nut, which will kind of squish all of these washers and stuff together and make the, uh, the strings kind of uh, out to the side. So you want to, as you're tightening it, just kind of make sure that top washer stays on top of the strings. And again, it's a wrench. If you twist it in the right direction. Which I am not doing. <laughs> be a little finicky because you want that top washer to really be on top of those strings and if you had a larger washer it would certainly be easier but that that's what you're going for but you want it to be tight done okay so in order to use this um, you also need a five gallon bucket like this one here and a lid for the bucket with a three-eighths to half inch hole drilled in the lid goes together like this ideally you want a lid that easily comes off and on but some five gallon buckets, um, the lid is just a giant ass egg to get on and off. So you want one like this that snaps on and off pretty easily. And there is your five gallon bucket pressure.